Hi everyone, this is Explorer867. Today's the first day of the rest of your life, so get out and enjoy it. Today I put together a video illustrating how I uh, mounted the diesel heater uh, in our uh, converted cargo trailer. And uh, so come on along and uh, check it out. Give me a thumbs up on the video, subscribe to the channel, and ring the bell and you'll get the latest content from the channel. Also, let others know on your social media that we're out here. Share the videos uh, with your friends and family. Much appreciated. Okay, let's talk about the diesel heater now. This is a 5K unit underneath. Um, it's, uh, it heats this uh, trailer up perfectly. I mean, it really does a good job. So it's mounted in the front V-nose uh, in the cabinet underneath. has its own compartment down here. And uh, let me show you where it connects. And you can see where it feeds out the face of the cabinet. You can see here this, this vent right here that recirculates the cool air back in underneath the into the compartment where the heater is and then it recycles it through and then blows it out as hot air. So in the face of the cabinet down towards the floor here I mounted a uh, intake grate that recirculates the cool air here the white grate recirculates the cool air back in to where the uh, diesel heater is and then it blows the hot air right out this port here. Okay, this is the uh, diesel uh, fuel tank for the diesel heater inside the trailer. And uh, this here is the, this is the uh, pump that pumps the fuel from the tank into the heater, metering pump. And uh, d this does a really good job. We put this uh, out here so that we can... Uh, eliminate the smell of diesel on the inside of the trailer and it's done a great job. The only thing is and if, if any of you guys watching this video have some suggestions on how to insulate these little uh, pumps uh, to quiet them down, uh, we've got a rubber mount here that comes with this and it's mounted to the box. But if you have any suggestions on how to quiet these pumps down, leave your suggestion down um, below the video in the comments down there. I'd be interested to see what some of you guys have done to quiet these diesel pumps down. But I'm very happy with the diesel heater. It's It, it works terrifically. Uh, this holds, uh, this holds uh, two and a half gallons of diesel. This is the electronic controller that controls the diesel heater. Uh, these things work very well. I've been quite happy with it. Um, if you're interested in how to program these or how they function, I have a video that I recorded. Uh, so just go down into my playlists and uh, it'll explain everything about these, uh, and including how to, to uh, program them. So anyway, this is uh, underneath the trailer and this is the bottom of where the uh, diesel heater is mounted inside the trailer. This is where it comes out through the bottom of the trailer. This is the exhaust line here. This is the fresh air intake here for the combustion process. And this is the fuel inlet into the heater itself. I uh, pick up, picked up this shroud uh, on Amazon and it's just a heat shroud to help protect the decking from the heat from the exhaust. It does a real good job at that. Uh, I, I overcut the opening just for safety sake to keep the wood back away from the, uh, the exhaust. I laid in a metal plate over the top of that and then read, ran a bead of silicone or high temperature silicone and then set this plate down onto it and then screwed it to the decking, mounted the heater to this, uh, and, uh, and then sealed up the outside here with more of that uh, silicone sealant, high temperature silicone sealant. So let's follow the fuel line. The fuel line 
uh, fuel line is here and it's got the uh, protective conduit over the top of it, flexible conduit, and it runs this way. This is the power feed that goes up to the heater and to the controller up on the wall, the electronic controller, the brain, and then it runs along the bottom of the trailer here and then comes up and this is this is the box that we looked at on the tongue of the trailer earlier in the video. This is where the fuel line goes through. This is the power line that goes to the, uh, the little uh, diesel pump inside there. So the black line there, that, as I pointed out earlier, that is the fresh air intake for the combustion process. And it runs, it routes underneath the trailer here. And I've kind of got it protected back in here. I built this aluminum um, shroud around it or housing around it. And uh, there's a uh, filter on the end of it, a uh, dust filter. And that's been working out real well. Just have to clean that periodically uh, so you can get maximum airflow into the, uh, the heater. This is where the exhaust is routed down underneath the trailer, follows the tongue support underneath the trailer, and then comes out all the way down here on the side of the trailer. And that's the, that's the little muffler. And this is where the exhaust comes out the side of the trailer. Okay, this is a carbon monoxide alarm. So running the diesel heater like we do, or if you have a buddy heater, or any sort of heat that you'd have inside your, your camper, RV, trailer like this, it's a good idea to have one of these. So if you're, for some reason, there's a fault in the uh, exhaust port on the heater, uh, on our diesel heater in our case, uh, and it's kicking any carbon monoxide out into the, the living space in here, uh, this alarm will go off and warn us of that. We don't sleep with the diesel heater on. We uh, heat, the, heat the trailer up before we go to bed and then if it gets really cold at night, I'll get up and I'll turn the diesel heater on, warm the place up. And then... So if you like the video, give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. Ring the bell. You'll get the latest content from the channel as I release it. Uh, put us out on your social media. Let others know that we're out here. Make a comment down below the video and I'll get back to you. I'll write you back and, and uh, if you have questions about anything that we've done here, I'd love to talk to you. It helps push that algorithm that uh, you, YouTube uses. So go ahead and make those comments. Uh, and then as always, I look forward to seeing you in the great outdoors. You guys take care.